The next one is uh, reheat. So what is reheat? I'm going to sketch, make an illustration. We have a steam generator, and we come out of the steam generator, and we pass it through a turbine. But instead of only one turbine, it will bring it back to the boiler or the steam generator after you pass it through one section of the turbine and pass it through a second section of the turbine. So the turbine is has a first stage and second stage. That's reheating. Now, after that turbine, you go into a condenser, then into a pump, etc. So we could list our states. Normally, state one is between the steam generator and the first turbine stage, then state two, then state three after reheat before the second turbine stage, then four, then five, then six. So now we have six states to chase. Okay? And so you make an illustration. Now you make a property diagram. The temperature entropy diagram Go ahead and put the dome on, and you think to yourself, how many unique pressures do I have? I'll have 10 MPA. I'll also have 10 KPA like I had before, but when they expand after the first turbine stage, it goes. It, it's now 1 MPA. This is just the, for this problem. So sketch the 10 MPA, sketch the... 1 MPA, to sketch the 10 KPA, there you go. And so before we had it out here at 1, and then we expand all the way down, um, maybe I'm going to move state 1 over here. State 1 is right there, not there, so it's fine. Okay, there's state 1. If I expand it, this is state 2, and maybe state 2 has some high-quality steam, but I really don't want to expand it anymore. I want to reheat it. So when I reheat, in this problem, it's at 1 MPA. The pressure is 1 MPA. This was 10 MPA. This is 10 KPA. After the first turbine stage, it's reheated in the boiler to become saturated vapor at 1 MPA. Now, that's not much of a reheat. That's kind of a boring problem. So I was setting up this problem where I do have 440 degrees coming out of the steam generator, which is superheated. Now, instead of trying to just make it like that, what I'll do is uh, come out here up to 440 again. There's state 3. 1 MPA back to 440. It's reheated to 440 in the boiler. And then I expand, and maybe it comes to there, and that's state 4. Then it comes over here to state 5. Then it goes through the pump, but the pump, you can take it all the way up to the high pressure at 6. Again, we've exaggerated the temperature difference between 6 and 5 just so you can see it. But the temperature at 6 is maybe a degree or two above 5. Okay? And there you go. Now, once I have the property diagram, I can get a table of all the values. So state 1, 2, dot, dot, dot. I'm primarily interested in those enthalpies, true? Because if I ask a question like, what is the work developed in the first turbine stage? WT1. Isn't that H1 minus H2? And then what is for part B? What is the work developed in the second turbine stage? WT2 is equal to H3 minus H4. What is the work required to drive the pump down here? WP would be V at F of 5 times P6 minus P5. And then what is the heat transfer in the boiler? Now, this one is a little challenging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this one. Q in the steam generator is going to be H1 minus A6. That is the first part. That's heating it up as it goes through this section. True? But you also have the reheat. And the reheat, a lot of students will forget. 
is going to be H3 minus H2. True. You see why it's both of those? It's like you have Q here as well as Q there in the reheat. So this is maybe the hard one. Don't forget this part on the when you have reheat for the heat transfer into the working fluid. Okay, let's continue on. What is the heat transfer in the condenser? Q condenser is H4 minus H5. And then what is the net work? I'm going to just erase right here. What is that work net? That's right. So WT1 plus WT2, so that's the network out of both of those turbines, minus WP, which is the uh, power uh, work per unit mass consumed back by the pump. And what about the thermal efficiency? Eta is equal to the work net divided by the heat in, which is QSG the heat in the steam generator. And then what is the back work ratio? Back work ratio is equal to the WP divided by WT1 plus WT2. Is that all music to your ears? Very good, very good. So let's continue on now.